All right, just thought I'd do this video showing just the murderous spirit of the new IFB cult, these new IFB devils. They are now, let me just attach my mouse, they are now rejoicing in the death of a guy named, uh, named uh, Todd Ferguson. He had a lot of videos exposing the new IFB cult, the satanic cult that it is, the uh, cult that I came out of in early 2019. And in this video, they are... It's called, uh, it's by a channel called uh, Pillar and Ground. Let me just do full screen. It's by a channel called Pillar and Ground. And it's called, uh, When God Takes Your Shoe is the example of Todd Ferguson. And you're gonna see how they're basically mocking his death. This, this guy, he ran a channel called uh, Reason Files. And they did a lot of videos exposing the new IFB cult and the new IFB devils and cultists could not handle it. So they are just rabid and, and um, it's ridiculous. So let's, let's watch this video. And just show how, and I also left a comment down here too, where I said, so anyone who exposes your satanic cult is the enemy of God. Wow, you new IFD, you new IFB devils are super, super wicked. I mean, these guys are basically like the new Westboro. Anyone who goes against them is a devil, they're lost, they're enemy of God. You know, it's ridiculous. They're, they are a satanic, uh, murderous cult. Let's get right into this. Robert Tuttle said that the enemy of God, Todd Ferguson, has passed on into glory to be with the Lord. Is he right about that? Kind of. The Bible says the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. The demise of Todd Ferguson is not surprising and even highly predictable if you know and believe what the Bible says about how God rewards those who are his enemies. Let's take a look at just a few So Todd Ferguson's the enemy of God. Why? Because he exposed your, your wicked, murderous, satanic cult, the new IFB? Yeah. Just today. How they were mad. Again, they're just, they're, they're just the new Westboro. That's all they are. Because Westboro Baptist Church did the exact same thing. Anyone who goes against them basically is the enemy of God and should die. Manifest in Todd Ferguson and why his fellow trolls and enemies of the Lord alike should expect and fear a similar demise. February 3rd, 2021, Todd's family was notified that his body has been found. Todd has passed on to glory and is now at home with the Lord. Scripture tells us, In flaming fire taking vengeance on them that know not God and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. For yet for a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Yea, thou shalt diligently consider his place, and it shall not be. But the meek shall inherit the earth, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. The wicked plotteth against... You see, you see how there's mocking his death? They got, a, they got a spirit of murder. They got murder in their hearts. And I would not be surprised for one second if any of these new IFB devils did a mass shooting. Because that, that's just how murderous they are. Believe me, I've been in their cult. I know what they're like. I've seen what they're like. So I, I've had first-hand experience. I've seen what they're like. I've seen the kind of comments they've left me when I left their cult. They are really, really wicked. They are a bunch of wicked, murderous devils. To the just, and gnasheth upon him with his teeth. The Lord shall laugh at him, for he seeth that his day is coming. <laughs> Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. Thou shalt seek them, and shalt not find them, even them that contended with thee. They that war against thee shall be as nothing, and as a thing of naught. Let them be turned back, and brought to confusion that devise my hurt. See, look at this comment. Hi, his buddy said, quote, Todd Ferguson, passed in the glory, he sure did, he quotes, you know, the scripture there. And the comment there says, that's awesome. You know, because they, they're just proving that they basically want, they wish death upon anyone that goes against them. I mean, they're, they're worse than the Brian Dillinger cult. I mean, even the Brian cult is not that bad. I mean, these new IFB devils, I mean, they're, they're essentially just like the Christian, you know, ISIS, which of course ISIS is just the creation of the Jesuit run CIA. So yeah, I would not be surprised if these new IFB cults, cult members are also 
just a bunch of government CIA plants to make Christians look bad. Not be surprised for one second. Because they can quote the King James Bible all they want. They can quote the Word of God all they want in the King James Bible. Because the King James Bible is God's Word in English. Uh, but they're full of dead men's bones, like Jesus said in Matthew 23. They're wicked. Let them be as chaff before the wind. And let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery, and let the angel of the Lord persecute them. For without cause have they hid for me their net in a pit, which without cause they have digged for my soul. Let destruction come upon him at unawares, and let his net that he hath hid catch himself. Into that very destruction let him fall. Apparently, there was a person outside on the street who was selling shoes, and Todd was going to help them out by purchasing a pair of shoes from them. Todd then stepped back outside, presumably to purchase the shoes. This was the last time any of Todd's family or friends saw him. And his clothes were worn and old. Yeah, so again, they're just totally mocking what he's saying. And here, here's the real reason why these new IP devils and these new IP Satanists are so upset. Because they got exposed, they had their works of darkness that were brought to light, and they could not handle that. Luke 8, 17. For, the, for nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. Okay? Uh, I think it's Ecclesiastes 12, 14. For God shall bring every work in the judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Uh, let me just... Now on to Luke chapter 12, or sorry, Numbers, Numbers, I think it's uh, 3223, pretty sure. Yeah, num Numbers 3223. But if ye will not do so, behold, ye have sinned against the Lord, and be sure your sin will find you out. The new IFB, their sin have, has found them out, and they cannot handle that. They cannot, they just couldn't stand that. Their sin found them out. That's what happened to the new IFB. So that's what they're having to wish death upon those that expose them. Luke 12, 2. For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. Verse 3. Therefore whatsoever ye have spoken in darkness shall be heard in the light, and that which ye have spoken in the ear shall be in the closets, shall be proclaimed upon the housetops. Hmm, kind of like Anderson's kids sending all those wicked perverted messages. So those are the reasons why the new IFB devils uh, wish death upon anyone who exposes them because they don't want to have their works brought to dark, brought to light, their wicked works. They don't want to have their sin finding them out. Like what happened to Donnie Romero, who was out fornicating with prostitutes and gambling with church money and all this other wicked stuff. This is the fruit of this new IFB cult. Don't be deceived by it. Okay, May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.